All right, we're ready to go, Will. Uh, we're going to start off, we're going to do uh, two mile tempo, um, take about a five minute break after that, <clears throat> and four by 800, uh, starting at right around 10K pace, and we'll gradually cut it down, and then, uh, and then we'll finish up with a, uh, with a one mile tempo. Just trying to kind of control things this week. It's, uh, this isn't supposed to be you know, a really crazy workout. We're just trying to, trying to prep for a race. So you know, we want to get a little bit of volume without uh, really overcooking these guys. So we'll control a little bit by going on the track, and it uh, should, be, should be good prep for us. Yeah, this is the first time we've really been on the track. To be honest, we haven't spent much time on it at all. Two mile tempo to start, just kind of loosen up the legs, get the heart rate going, um, get the blood pumping, and then uh, four by 800, kind of work on a little bit quicker turnover, uh, finish it off with the tempo mile. Is to just get some good work, control the effort. Um, I was just, don't leave the effort on the track here. Don't leave the race on the track here. We don't hit the track that often during cross country. We went pretty hard out on our on our cross country practice facility um, about three or four days ago, and so we're coming up to a race now. It's really more about just being able to control the effort a little bit more. We can just we can check our times a little bit more, and, and I just want to make sure guys aren't going too hard today. So we thought doing it on the track would be a, a little better option for us. Just judge your effort. And we want to do we wanted to do a little bit of work, kind of at race pace or a touch faster than race pace, just to get the guys in the in the feeling of, of you know, getting, you know, just getting their legs going. Um, but we didn't want to make it a real short workout, so we just tack a little bit of tempo on the front end and the back end, and it's, that's more just to get us a little bit of volume. Almost trick these guys into thinking the workout's a little bit harder than, than what it is. Great job, Mason. Really relaxed. 35. There you go, 9.52. Nice job, guys. All right, five minutes. Make sure you guys keep moving, okay? How's that? That was good. I mean, Mason looked really controlled, um, and it's pretty windy out today. I was yeah. a little surprised that he was as comfortable as he looked, but all, all three groups so far look good, so we'll just see if, make sure they get recovered. They get a little bit more recovery than we normally take after a tempo and get at these 800s. How'd that feel, Mace? Good, real good. We got a fairy field tornado out here today, though. It's like uh, 20 mile an hour winds on the back track and then 20 mile an hour tailwind on the home stretch. So it makes pacing a little awkward, but it was a good workout. I'm not done yet, though. It's just, not done. Yeah, not good warm up. Sometimes going into a race, we do a real easy workout and, and guys tend to feel flat, so they got to focus a little bit more and hopefully they'll come out and feel a little bit better. All right, two, twelve, a little quick, Mace. Two twenty, two twenty-one. The emphasis is on Big Tens and Nationals still. So, like you were saying, we are trying to find a, a nice balance between being able to extract as much as we can while making sure we had some uh, fresh legs going into Wisconsin, but not too fresh because ultimately we're we're coming to show up at Big Tens and Nationals. We're a team that can race hard and work out hard all through the season. I mean, we don't need to back off um, in races or in workouts to you know, feel good, you know. We can push hard the whole season and we're gonna arrive ready to go. You know, we know coming in that Wisconsin's gonna be the favorite, um, you know, despite, you know, them not running very hard at Louisville and uh, dropping in the rankings. We know that was, uh, you know, where they are in the rankings is not reflecting how good a team they are. We know that, you know, they're not fooling us. And so we know that we've got to come and we've got to have, you know, we've got to have seven to nine guys who are all having their best day. The thing that's really fun about the Big Ten is, um, although it's a conference meet, people take it as a first, second priority, especially with nationals more of a second priority, but people come in there ready to go, ready to fire. So it's going to be a fun day. Um, and I agree, it's going to take a lot to, to win it, but we've got the pieces, um, we've got the confidence, and we're going to rely on that to ultimately accomplish our goals there. We don't lose sleep over Wisconsin. Like, they're a good team, I'll give them that, and they have some good individuals too, but, you know, we're gonna attack the season just like we normally do, and we're not gonna get hung up by one team in Madison that, you know, is making headlines by jogging races. Like, you know, we're gonna run hard, and we're gonna, we're gonna prove people we're good, and when we step in line and race them, we'll see you as a better team. You know, hopefully if we do that, um, you know, we'll be close to Wisconsin. You know, we're not 
we're definitely not going to give it to them, um, but they are, they're the favorites. You know, we're the underdogs coming in. But I mean, I like that role. It takes some of the pressure off of us, and um, you know, hopefully we can uh, we can get close, and and uh, who knows, maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll snag a snag a Big Ten title. All right, very nice, guys. Fifty-three. Everybody gets a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>